All right, happy birthday. Today is President Barack Obama's 100th day in office. Joining us for a look back is political analyst Tom Stairfin. Happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy, happy 100, 100 days. Happy 100, 100 days, days, I should say. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So what important things has he accomplished in his first 100 days? He is the quarterback. He's the coach. He's the general manager of this team. Uh, what he has shown, that he doesn't have the cabinet officials of his stature that carry the ball. He carries the ball everywhere, and he's established that tone. In America right now, 75% of the people believe he's got the character to be president. They love his family. They love what he represents and what he brings to the White House. But only 53% like what he's doing as policy. So he's carrying the ball. And, you know, he's got a tremendous media operation around him. I mean, he's doing, remember uh, our, uh, Phil Spector in the 60s that developed the wall of sound for music and mm -hmm. produced some of the Beatles stuff? Well, he's got the Obama wall of sound, every 24-hour news clock. He floods the market with his images, his messages, and his policies. There's no room for the opposition. And the opposition really doesn't exist. So, so the bottom line here is that uh, he's, He's a good leader, strong leader, but uh, some of the policies don't exactly... Well, the people are, are concerned about it. I mean, yeah. we're optimistic about him taking us to the promised land. Remember the pilot that landed the plane on the Hudson River? Uh, we, you know, we, we all want him to be that pilot. Uh, but right now we're going through that turbulence. We haven't landed yet, but we're all headed in that direction. So descriptive. Yeah. <laughs> right, seriously. Let's, let's talk What's about that? this uh, the one thing that... Uh, concerned a lot of people and it should, should concern taxpayers as well and concern everybody in New York City was that uh, flight, that ill-advised flight around lower Manhattan which got people kind of freaked out basically and suspecting that it was another terrorist attack. How does something like this happen under Barack Obama's watch? Well, you know, it's, he's got a tremendous media operation and they're taking advantage of every photo op. It's a 24-hour news clock and they're winning that, that war with the opposition. And unfortunately, somebody scheduled this photo op. They wanted a picture of Air Force One going through New York City, making everything look peaceful. I think everybody knew about what was going on here, as far as I'm concerned. This was an opportunity to get those pictures. You they think the president knew? I don't think the president knew, but I think the people around him that deal with his media operations knew what was going and on. How the I heck saw does that I, happen? Well, I saw that, and it reminded me, I saw the second flight go into the tower, the yeah. second yeah. tower. Yeah. And, Especially with the fighter jets behind right, it. And I saw that plane coming around the corner like like this and I thought I had a pit in my stomach I got sick yeah. and can you imagine the people on the ground there are looking through the no, I know even years I mean I, I, when I was living in New York and that was years after September 11th still that fear yeah. well, one, of the problem, one of the problems the president has is his cabinet officials Napolitano who's the former governor of Arizona she's head of Homeland Security and people even the people in Canada are saying maybe she's not really up to the job but here she is taking the world terrorism and saying man-made disasters now uh, she's taking that out of it the desensitization to what's going on the world when terrorism maybe has, has impacted some of the uh, media operations to put a plane like this at that altitude yeah. over New York over the World Trade Centers suggests maybe there's, so, there's so a sensitivity we, should, not there well, right should now. we be concerned about some of the people he's surrounding himself with well that's you know p people have asked me about the first hundred days I think yeah. the failure has been he hasn't surrounded himself with a, a very good strong team I mean the head of the IRS doesn't pay his taxes uh, Gettner I mean there's a lot of individuals there that haven't qualified uh, as tier one individuals right now I think Obama is is now carrying everything in this second 100 days and in the second and the third year he's got to surround himself with stronger people his problem is the Congress right now his problem are the Democrats mm -hmm. his problem are the people that are supposed to be on his side <laughs> right. uh, it, it, so he needs smarter people around him if you had three or four Obamas you'd have an NBA champion so, so bottom line people like him but it's the people he's surrounding himself around that are not getting a good score right now right. clearly the polls show that all right thank you so much you're welcome